Hey guys, Portia here and today I'm going to be layering this baby onesie. I'm actually really excited about this. I haven't done this many layers ever using a little registration mark. We'll see how that works out. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so prepping the onesie by adding some heat first. And I am going to eyeball this. Um, like I said, I got the registration mark there, but I'm gonna go ahead and eyeball the very first layer. And I think that looks really good right there. So let's go ahead and get it pressed. Now I will tell you, I am completely like heartbroken that I forgot to put on the Teflon sheet. You saw it like popped up all those bubbles. Um, which was completely my fault and of course like I remembered after the first press that's usually how it goes um, so this thing I will tell you guys is chock full of um, mistakes so you guys can learn along with me all right let's get our little face um, added in so it's starting to come to life here Heat that on up for just a few seconds. And now see, look, even with this, you see how once I pull it up, it's gonna actually leave lines in the little uh, hair. So it's like, ah, it's like, like I said, this one right now, I mean, this one, not right now, but this one was really uh, a struggle for me. And um, I'm glad I definitely tried it out because I was able to learn a lot. But guys, <laughs> you will see it's, <laughs> A lot of lot of issues coming up here. Okay, let's go ahead and add in our next layer, which is our little eyeballs. Now, I did use like the registration mark that I saw um, on YouTube, and to me, I, it really didn't work out because I didn't do the process the right way. Um, perhaps next time I will, you know, do the process. Well, no, next time I will do the process better and it will work out the way it was intended. Other than that, for me, it was pretty much a waste of uh, space and vinyl. That is all. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get our bows added in here. And I use holographic uh, vinyl for this and I am really loving the way it's looking. Everything is coming to life so, so far so good. And like I said, had I known better the way I was um, doing this, you see it's leaving lines. Every time I pull up the carrier sheet uh, in the initial vinyl that I placed down, which is no good. But through this video, I also learned that vinyl is very forgiving. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get our name add it in so this is for baby ariana michaela and i want to nestle the um michaela right underneath her elbow so it kind of fits perfectly okay so i don't know if you guys noticed but the white part in the bubble gum i ended up covering up with the vinyl which told me that i put the those two layers on wrong so i just had to use ingenuity and go ahead and figure it out so I just cut the shape from what was left over in the carrier sheet so I could kind of match that up so that's what you see me doing right here all right so let's get that added so I'm just going to press this because I still want the white to pop I don't want it to look muted it looks funny like that so just went on ahead and cut like I said cut that out and I'm going to layer the white part on top of the um, the the vinyl. All right, and I did leave um, when I cut it. I did not want to cut it all over again. I accidentally uh, didn't leave enough room for the bottom of the Y. So I just got a little bit creative there. Added a little piece uh, from another extra part that I done, and it seemed to work out just fine. So it's still hot. So I'm kind of manipulating the vinyl just a little bit. Um, and cutting off that extra part that I don't need again while it's still hot. Now let's go ahead and do one really really good press. I want to get the wrinkles out. They are like really bothering me. It is really in the afro in her hair, her little afro puffs. I really want to focus on like trying to get that as flat as possible. Um, this has definitely been a learning experience for me. I don't know how much I will be doing this type of layering and Lord knows 
I know people do far more layers than this, but um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. But um, I'm so happy with the results, to be honest. I'm being a little hard on myself, but I'm happy with the results. So if you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to Color Me Portia. Until next time, peace.